Hello, everybody, welcome to watch Creative Biolabs video about immune system and immune therapy. Today, we are going to share some basic knowledge about chimeric antigen receptor or CAR technology and its application on tumor therapy. Malignant tumor, also known as cancer, is one of the most deadly human diseases now, with very high mortality and poor prognosis due to the high recurrence rate and metastasis. Normal cells will transform into tumor cells under the condition of gene damage or mutation. At present, there are several fixed strategies to treat cancer, radioactive therapy and chemotherapy is conventional approach. But both of them have obvious side effect due to the indiscriminate damage of normal cells. For a large well-defined tumors, surgically removal is a better choice. However, as erasis often has high recurrence rate due to the incompletely resection. The latest idea is immunotherapy, by artificially modulating and strengthening the patient's own immune system to target and eliminate tumor cells. Immunotherapy has great potential to cure cancer with very low side effect, and high tumor elimination expectation. To better understand how the immunotherapy works, we should have some basic knowledge about our immune system. There are mainly two different kinds of immune cells, T cells and B cells. They take in charge of cellular immunity and humoral immunity respectively. Among T cells, there are also two subtypes, CD8 positive T cell and CD4 positive T cell. CD8 positive T cell is also known as cytotoxic T cell. It directly recognizes tumor cells and secretes cytokines to damage or cause programmed cell death of tumor cells. CD4 positive T cell also named as helper T cell. It helped B cell activate and differentiate into plasma cells, which have the ability to massively produce antibodies to eliminate tumor cells. These specific antibodies can target tumor cells and cause cell damage by ADCC effect or phagocytosis. These are how our immune system fight against tumor cells. The ideas of immunotherapies, including anti-tumor monoclonal antibody drugs, antibody drug conjugates as well as chimeric antigen receptor T or NK cells, are basically based on the fundamentals of antibodies and cytotoxic cells. Since the immune system has the mechanism to serve and clear tumor cells, why do people still get cancer? The reason is that tumor cells have multiple methods to avoid the immune surveillance and escape from being eliminated by our immune system. Immune escape mechanism is very complex to discuss. Such as immune suppressed tumor microenvironment, antigen presenting cell disable, down modulation of surface antigen presentation, CD4 positive T cell tolerance and CD8 positive T cell dysfunction could all be involved in tumor escape process. In brief, we can simply believe that tumor cells have the ability to reduce the T cells recognition to avoid surveillance. To better understand how tumor cells cause T cell dysfunction, we must know the T and tumor cell recognition mechanism firstly. There are two different types of antigen presented on tumor cell surface. One is membrane protein antigens which could be targeted by antibodies or B cell receptors. The other is peptide antigens which are presented with major histocompatibility complex molecule together as a complex and targeted by T-cell receptors. T-cell recognized tumor cells is actually based on the recognition of T-cell receptor and peptide MHC complex. In general, TCR recognizes the presented peptide antigen of tumor cell as the first signaling, along with other co-stimulatory molecule pairs binding such as CD28 and B7 as the second signaling. This double signal pathway system leads to full activation of T-cell to kill tumor cells. However, tumor cells also have response actions, such as down-regulating the expression of specific peptide antigens, down-regulating the expression of MHC molecules and co-stimulatory molecules, to inhibit T-cell recognition of tumor cells, so that to avoid the immune attacks. It is well known that, the candidate markers recognized by antibody are much broader than those of TCR. Antibody recognition is MHC independent and its binding affinity could be optimized by antibody affinity screening process. In this case, if we combine an antibody recognition domain with a TCR signaling motif to form a chimeric T-cell receptor, it could form a more robust antigen receptor that has not only higher tumor recognition capability but also the ability to trigger T-cell cytotoxicity effect. This genetically engineered T-cell is what we call chimeric antigen receptor T-cells or CAR-T. Technically, there are several steps to construct a CAR T-cell. First of all, an ideal target tumor antigen need to be chosen for affinity screening to identify the optimized antibody and obtain the gene sequence of selected antibody. Then, according to the design of CAR construction, CAR genes are synthesized and packaged into viral vectors. After this, CAR genes are delivered into T-cells through virus transfection. 
culture the transgenetic T cells, and select those T cells with stable CAR expression. Finally, test the quality of these newly created CAR T cells. The proliferation ability, CAR receptor expression, cytotoxicity, cytokine release and anti-tumor function both in vitro and in vivo are all need to be evaluated and qualified before it can be used in clinical trials. After years of development, CAR-T technology has made great progresses. The first generation CAR is simply constructed of an antibody domain and a single CD3 zeta domain. This CAR-T cell only has a temporary anti-tumor activity. The second generation CAR have an additional co-stimulatory signaling domain such as CD28 or 41 bb to maintain a long-term effect compared to the first generation. Recent developments fuse the intracellular part of a second co-stimulatory molecule such as CM2 in addition, thus generating tripartite signaling CAR. This third generation CAR cells seem to have superior qualities such as higher level cytokine secretion, significantly increased proliferation speed and survival rate. The next generation CAR will additionally be modified with a constitutive or inducible expression cassette for cytokines, or a self-withdrawal mechanism to modulate T-cell response. Besides the above, CAR has a variety of forms of construction. Linking two different antibody end-to-end -end together forms a tandem CAR. Expressing two kinds of antibody on the same T-cell surface simultaneously forms a bispecific CAR. Another kind of physiological CAR use ligand receptor which binds to the paired molecule on the surface of tumor cells instead of specific antibody. It increases the ability of T-cells to recognize tumor-associated targets. If we use a vitim biotin labeled monoclonal antibody instead of normal antibody as the recognition part of CAR, a universal CAR could be formed, which has the ability to recognize almost every target antigen according to the different monoclonal antibody being used. CAR-T technology is considered as one of the most promising weapon to fight against cancer. Its significant advantages to strengthen the anti-tumor immune response are remarkable. CAR-T cells target the tumor cell in a plan-restricted manner. Non-protein antigens such as glycoprotein can also be recognized. It overcomes some of the tumor immune escape issues such as MHC and endogenous antigen expression down regulation by directly targeting the tumor cell surface antigen. Although this technique manifests such great potential, there are still many problems hindering its clinical application. As we all know, many tumor markers are more or less expressed on healthy cells. This may cause so-called on target of tumor toxicity. Moreover, CAR T cells have not successfully achieved self-regulation function so far. The overexpression of cytokines may also cause cytokine release syndrome or cytokine storm that causes serious body damage or even life risk. CAR T is a novel technology and still has a long way to become a mature clinical therapeutic method. It has performed very well on the treatment of hematological tumors such as leukemia in some cases, but is still not effective enough on solid tumors. Recognition specificity, proliferation and persistence, tumor microenvironment, and self-regulation control should be considered as the most important problems urgent to be addressed. We hope more and more researchers could join into CAR-T immunotherapy research and development, and make this technology be used on tumor treatment and clinical as soon as possible. Creative Biolabs is a world-renowned service provider for immunotherapy. Our mission is to liberate customers' creativity from cumbersome and repetitive experiment work and to help you burst out more innovative inspirations. We have one of the world's largest collections of car products from different generations targeting various biomarkers, and we are continuing to innovate the next generation car technology to achieve even greater results. Based on advanced technologies and years of researches, Creative Biolabs offers high-quality custom services covering the entire car T therapy development process to best suit your technical program and budget requirements which can greatly assist your research, preclinical investigation and clinical stage development. Thank you for watching our video. If you have any questions or need more detailed information about CAR technology, please do not hesitate to contact us by email or visit our website. We are more than happy to help you with your CAR project.